again, but luckless man, oh man. Again, putting up the Guinevere jungle on quite possibly their last match of the season. If this works, you know, rank games that are on will be filled with <laughs> Guinevere jungle. I'm sure they already are. <laughs> they, they, after, yeah. No, I, did, I, I tested it. People don't, don't seem to like the idea, but you know, if they win MPL, people will just naturally follow. It takes a MPL championship oh. for to show off. Yaoi though, gonna get poked down a little bit here. Oh my Venus, looking for a kill. Yaoi, there's the pushback, but Haji forcing the flicker out. That's a lot out of Yaoi. Yeah, but it was also committed for the side of uh, you know, Blacklist, the mm -hmm. sprint of the promise, but still, it does give a kind of a favorable trade for Blacklist because they don't have to worry about uh, Yaoi positioning very, very aggressive on the earlier stages of the game. Yeah, no, it's it's this kind of treatment wherein we're fighting fire with fire that might temper the yeah. flames of Yaoi here. But wait, how easy engages. Yeah, he can't get the, the position, the angle that he needed there. Better to play it safe too for Echo just for now. Wait for that first uh, turtle of the game to come up and maybe come out on top of the objective, but on the bottom side, two versus two for now. Edward gonna get poked down a little bit. Wise there too. Turtle now spawns, but gets the knock up. Sanford though. Ooh, that's the Purify. Had Wise to use the Purify. Didn't even commit the ultimate or divide it direct beam for, for the Guinevere. Well, he's still holding on to the ultimate. They gotta make a space here for this turtle as it does reset. Carl Teasy with the knock up. Oh my Venus has to flicker out. Colt alter to response. Pow! The Black Shoes able to dodge that Newman on blast. Going home. You talked about this earlier, Nice, with the factor of the Valir on these engagements. It's hard for Egg for Blacklist to actually engage even with the Colt Altar because of the amounts of slows and the positioning displacement done in by Yaoi. Oh, great job here securing that first turtle of the game. Echo off to a good start again. We're gonna see this. Uh, uh, there's a lot of weight here on the lover boy Yaoi's shoulders, right? This Valir could possibly gain him this W in this game, but still, they have a big thing ahead of them, and it's just the whole entirety of Black Lizard National. As we saw them previously, where they are very good at timing the skills, timing the ultimates, layering, especially when Haji is playing the Faramis. That's something they have, they have to keep in mind, but already, you can see the power of Yaoi on this Valir once yeah, again. No, it, it's, really a dis annoying. it's a displacement. It's the fact that you're not sure if you want to take the fight or maybe not, wait it out. And so far, it's led to Echo having a small lead and again, scoring that major objective, that turtle in the early. What kind of items are we looking at here, Midnight? What are they going? I think for Wise, you're gearing up for the Garden Celibate. Again, more uh, HP, more sustain means more survivability in this fight and also more damage around the new two objectives. But the most important item that we are that we can see in this game is the DH's timing of Benicuti. It has been delayed for quite a bit because you know the, the Claude and Melissa matchup needs sort of a band-aid solution for the Claude. He needs physical defense to be able to sustain that lane and be able to farm up on the mid game. So that's why you're seeing a sort of a delay on the DHS pickup on Benicuti, but he's about to get it in probably around 30 seconds. I mean, not just that, uh, I think it, it also saves you from a possible knockout combo from Edward. Yeah. So at least that allows Benny to farm up a little more. So that means Echo should be patient, but not be shy to take a fight when it's ready, yeah. and not be shy to, again, lean in hard on these objectives second, as they did on the turtle. Second turtle probably is the best timing for Echo, because that is a time where Benny Cutie can fight, and he has either DHS or DHS to scold the staff. They also have. Again, the three, the triple loaded Purify, right? Which will help them. Second turtle of the game is now up. Sanji taking the damage, has to use the black shoes, should be fine. Turtle's gonna reset though. Edward getting a position as he finds Yaoi out from the bush. Noonan Blast gonna land as well. Sanford though, popping the Consecration should be just fine. They're gonna whittle down on my Venus a little bit wise, not able to land the knockup. And right now, Turtle still being worked on here. Blacklist International with the numbers advantage. But Oh My Venus quite low here. Carl Teasy to go in. Wise gets Sanford. Blacklist International just like that. Gaining an advantage, Edward. Goodness, this Paquito. Zoning him out. They're still going. They're still going. I love the Violent Requiem. Carl Teasy again quite low. Sanji from the back side. Can he help out the team? He's trying his best. Blooms. Heavy spin already came out. Edward. 
trying to push oh, Carl Teasy back. And that's going to be the turtle going over to Blacklist International. Look at this. Blacklist is not stopping. Oh, yeah, by the way, almost died on the top lane, but he was able to survive with the Inspire hitting onto the claw. So Benikid was able to get the job, but oof, almost gets the kill onto Edward. Man, Blacklist International just playing on the edge there with their lives a little bit, but still, unfortunately for Echo, can't convert a kill out of it. Blacklist found that small window. We were talking about how Echo should maybe lean hard on into it, especially when Benny Kitty was ready, but I guess they read the situation. Yo, Benny's still farming. Yeah. Benny's not ready. Let's go. Let's do it now. It's the right time to fight for Blacklist International, and it's making it hard, it's making it hard for Echo to fight back because there's a lot of sustain, and there's also a lot of mobility from the heroes of Blacklist. Just the Guinevere alone is annoying enough for Echo to deal with. You have to also think about Edward, Oheb, although Oheb hasn't participated yet, but also the Faramis on these fights. There's a lot in this matchup that might say, yo, Echo is winning, Echo has the better lineup, but the way it's executed, the way Blacklist is using their windows, is just speaking the opposite of Sanji. Just Forced. like that. He used an early black juice. Okay, Carl, Carl Tizi going in. Sanji, though, I mean... That could have been bad, he could have gone down there, but this is what we're talking about, the layering of abilities from Blacklist International. Yep, every spell that has been used is perfectly in sync with each other. Even though Wise jumped in and Tanji was able to get out, at least it forced out the Purify. Unfortunately, Oh My Venus didn't land the ultimate, but at least the threat is there. The pressure was enough for Echo to react, which means Oheb is able to farm these resources in the mid lane while matching up the farming speed of the claw. And so far, it looks like this last turtle is going the Blacklist's way. Ooh, forcing out Carl Thiesi to make a move. There's a Numenon Blast, and now That's they're gonna pull. He held on to the Retribution, so they know that they don't have the Numenon Blast. They could position them really some, themselves really well here. That's why they're delaying. Wise is one level ahead, though. They gotta we'll be careful. Take it. Ooh, they want to fight. There's Wise looking for the knockup, the Requiem, Sanji with the black shoes. A turret does go down, though. They lose it on the bottom side. Edward getting quite low. Carl, Lord Carl. is going to spawn here. Carl TZ going in. Sanford taking quite a few hits from the turret. Consecration with Wise Ooh. gets knocked into the tier one. Carl TZ, but more members are going down for Echo. Two for one trade. Oh, my Venus with the flicker in. Carl TZ trying to help Ooh. out. And he grabs the kill on Oheb. Quite messy, but the three for two. They're oh. still not done. They're still not done. Edward commits a flicker. This is crazy stuff from both sides. Although Echo had a fantastic work on Wise, on this Guinevere, Oh My Venus and Haji on the back side of things, they were dealing heavy damage onto the frontliners of Echo. Haji alone, the Faramis with the magic damage, is a big problem. He dealt so much damage that he was able to whittle down the HP of both Sanford and Ben Cutie. And All My Venus even committed the flicker to take out the gold laner of Echo. Although Oheb jumped in as well and he was punished heavily by Carl Deasy. So messy trades like that might actually change the tempo for Blacklist International. I'm guessing maybe Echo can actually start picking fights because so far it looks like it's been Blacklist always baiting yeah. out the black shoes baiting out the Vengeance Flames, seeing if they can try to make Carl Tizi do a heavy spin way out of timing. Yeah, it, it, you know, for Echo, it has to be on their own terms. Blacklist International, they have been the ones starting the fight because they, they have the Lolita, they have the Paquito, and they also have the Faramis. So it really is going to be advantageous for Blacklist to start. So if Echo wants to, you know, look for ways to fight, it should be started by them. And that's a start. I mean, a concealed play into a bush with lethal intent. Yeah, it's still a tall situation for Echo here. And also, Benny Cutie, right? I mean, the, as he can farm up, that's going to play a crucial part around these objective fights. Does the, the thing is, do they commit to this first oh, Lord here? You know, one problem that also, uh, you know, that Echo also has is the fact that it's not that they lack frontliners, but they lack decent re-engage. Like, you know, having Yaoi play the Valyrie, even though, yes, it's a good answer versus the Paramis, if you are 
play aggressively. But Blacklist right now are the ones playing aggressively and Echo is just reacting defensively and they cannot even utilize the, aggress the aggression or the aggressive nature of their own heroes. Yep, the last time we saw Echo leverage the displacement that their heroes had was in the first five minutes. Yeah. After that, it's just been Blacklist baiting out all of their ults and waiting, waiting for Benny Cutie. You know, the image is it should be Echo farming on the side or the jungle of Blacklist. But right now, 10 minutes in, even though, yes, Echo does have late game, they're just playing defensively against Blacklist, which does mean that Ohib is getting the same amount of farm as Benicuti. But the main problem is there's so many lives and sustain on the side of Blacklist, and there's also many ways for them to engage into fights. The mobility is going to come into play here for Blacklist. They're up on items as well. I mean, you can see the 2,000 gold lead from Blacklist International coming in the form of uh, Edward. Look at Edward, man. He's about 500 gold ahead yeah. of Sanford. And you can see how Sanford is scared for his life for the most times. Like his Purify within the first five seconds. Carl TZ gonna be able to find a wise here. Can't get the kill just yet. Oh my Venus also on the other did, side, so. Did he cancel? It, it looked like it was. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I mean, he found Wise, but unfortunately, like, he did... I don't know, he didn't stay there long enough. Yeah. It was like, nah, I don't want to fight. Maybe he got the call that Oh My Venus was there, too, so... Didn't want the team to kind of crunch it down onto that. This yep. is the beauty of having a Paquito versus Uranus. Paquito can do this, and he can follow to the fights as early as possible. Now Uranus has to react. You either, you know, clear the wave, or you follow the Paquito. Uh, all throughout the map, but this does put Blacklist into the advantage because they will always have a numbers advantage. Yeah, and that's why the lane defense from the side lanes is so much easier. That's why Echo can't afford to send more dudes. Ooh, look at the damage wow. from, o uh, from Oheb. Oh. That's what I was talking about. You know, when Melissa is in the right environment, yep. you can, you can kind of do this. You can whittle down these tanks. Also a nice key item pickup here. You can have that wind in nature available still everything just being a deciding factor on how does Echo approach Blacklist International? I mean, it's gonna be hard for uh, Echo to deal with this Melissa of Ohim. Like the physical damage, you're already removing that factor from the cloud. Sanji also has to close the gap against both Haji and Ohim, which is a tall order, by the way. It's so hard to break the Ube right now. They've been living in this mid lane Lord Bush for the past two minutes. Oh, it's like so easy playing Melissa when there's no parts now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, displacement, sure, but that's what you want anyways with the go away. You want some space between you and your opponent. It's fine. Look at that. Oh. He can do this, like, 24-7. All day. It's All tough. day, indeed. Benny QD. Oof, another problem, you know? Can't be blocked. Blazing do it. Yeah. You know, oh, it just stands near. Oh, my Venus uses the bulwark. No problem. They don't even need to commit the win of nature. It's just, uh, it's it's kind of crazy, right? How much back and forth between these two teams are going. But yeah, what you're seeing constantly here is Echo finding it very hard to find any angle, any opening at all. And a lot of it, again, has to do with even Oh My Venus on this Lolita. There's a lot of frontal damage that needs to be set up from Echo. And also, it's very difficult for, for Benny Q to go in. And Wise is also making this very, very yeah. hard. He is just standing on the front lines. It's not even farming. It's just a walking vision, walking, you know, CC. If he catches anybody, Blackness is ready to go for the engage because they have so oh. much mobility on Haji. Oh, Edward. Oh. Oh. Got, got the black shoes out just like that, though. That damage was enough, though. If Sanji did not commit the black shoes, would have been, you know, terrible for Echo. There's four ways for Blacklist to actually pick a fight. And they're all very scary. Yeah. For Echo, it's you're, you're, one. there's just one, and one. you're thinking, like, is it the right time? Are there enough people here? Yeah, this is the case for Echo, for us, to have a clear picture as to what will happen. Carl is standing on the front line, Blacklist gets engages on him. Panicuity walks over the, to the back line, uses Blazing to it, and that's it. But the main problem is there's so much solution and so much stuff from Blacklist International. Bottom lane, though, there's a quick work happening here for Echo. They're trying to kill Edward here. Two versus one. Agent Zero going to be just fine. Yaoi has to flicker out. 
Lord going to be worked on here, finally, by Blacklist International. They've had enough. They're saying, you know what? This is a whole lot of nothing we've been doing the past five minutes. Let's make something out of this big lead. 3K, Ooh. and they've committed some key skills. No one blast on Sanji. Oh, there, I mean, all of this just lines up. That's exactly what Blacklist International wants to do. Yeah. They're getting these ultimates out of Echo. They don't and, even care. And they don't care at this point. It's about the Melissa. Your protection to the Melissa is Echo's usage of their abilities. If they don't have ways of engaging onto your goal laner, Blacklist will just have better team fighting ability. Oh, they do get the flicker out of Oh My Venus. But is it going to be enough to actually win this fight? Haji oh, holding on with the Colt Alter. Sanford now joining the party. Can they find a kill? Wise taking a lot of damage. Colt Alter comes out. Edward Balboa gets the kill. Benicuti with the blazing duet. No one falls for oh, Blacklist International. Oh, him is still at full health. It came to the point where the fight was so long that the cult altar expired, no one got stunned, and they just continued fighting. Yeah. This is really, really hard for Echo. That is the firepower of Blackness International. But we are seeing oh. the capabilities of the Claude. If they yeah. time things right, if Ohip does not have that wind of nature, and if they're able to close that gap, they can they are able to take out the Melissa. They can do that. But they need to find the right initiation and the right angle against Blackness. Although Venus oh. is making the move. Sanji with the black shoes. Can they turn this one around? There's the Glooms, the Blazing Duet coming out from Benny Cutie. Oh, Cold Alter is the response. Why is not able to get the knock up? They're quite low. New on Blast gonna be charged oh. up. Fights three of Echo. But they're under the turret. OF fights Carl TZ. Benny Cutie falls. Haji in response and under the turret. It's Wise with the knockup. Echo's in trouble now. Oh, the humanity. That was three for one, and now Haji's back, and they're going to push in mid. Echo, you had the opportunity. Benicute, they found the opportunity, but the bulwark from Oh My Venus. Kept the Claude at bay, no damage done onto OM. Oh. This is him breaking the base. Nuno Blast gonna come out. They're looking to end the game here. It's a wipeout. Wipe and just like that, with the comeback of the Royal Duo, mission accomplished. The crown has been reclaimed. Three time, three time, three time NPL champions. Blackness International. BYs have come back and they have done what they came out to do. still had it in at the defend after five, six minutes of just back and forth. Blacks International went for the throat and went for that trophy. 60% grand finals win rate. Three grand finals for BYs. Three MPL titles. And now they're also the first team to defend. of Smart Communications to present the medals to our champion.
Miss International has been victorious in reclaiming the crown. Oh.